I just love the haka. <laughs> okay, let's start again. The advantages. It's soft, it's beautifully made, high quality. Not sponsored, I just love the product. <laughs> That's my thing. Hashtag not like I'm swearing, I'm being sworn into something. Hashtag I'm telling the truth. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about introducing Elijah to solids foods. After that, I'll talk, uh, talk up, I'll compare some of the things that I use during this process. If you're interested in that sort of thing, please keep watching. <laughs> So let's talk about introducing your baby to solid food. I just want you to let you know that I'm not a professional. I'm just sharing my experience with you guys. Disclaimer is very important. When I decided to introduce Elijah to solid foods, I did the same thing I did with my first child. I do one food at a time and before I tried the food, I'd rub it on his skin to see if he reacts, especially things like strawberries. Some people uh, react to strawberries. So before I just give it to him, I'll just put it on his skin. After a few hours, if there's nothing, then I would say the food is safe for him to eat. So I started doing that and I period his first foods. So I made a whole bunch of homemade food. I prefer making it myself than buying it from the store because it's pretty easy. Basically steam, put it in the blender, put it in a storage container and it's done. Usually I use my baby cook machine which I reviewed. The baby cook machine is a great machine except if you're cooking a large quantity of food. So if I'm cooking a large quantity of food I prefer to use my steamer, just my normal steamer that I use on the stove. So the baby cook container is this small. Otherwise it's a great machine like I I'm going to use this and then I'll use my blender to make the baby food. So. You don't have to have the baby cook machine. It, um, you can still use your normal um, steamer at home and your normal blender, because I do that sometimes. The baby cook machine is very convenient because you do everything in one. You steam and then you just tip over the food and then you blend it. And it was a gift. Man, it's good. Start with the purees and then after the purees I go to I think about something else like the same thing that I did with the I introduced a feeder so with the feeder the baby can still hold it but they're not holding whole fruit it's like baby led weaning without using giving them the whole fruit instead you're putting it in a little feeder with Olivia Grace I use a mesh feeder uh, I, if you haven't seen that video I'll leave the link here with the mesh feeder it had many advantages but some of those disadvantages were um, the mesh would get stained and it wasn't so easy to wash so this time around with Elijah I decided to try a silicon feeder so I tried two silicon feeders one was the boon when I tried the boon it was it's quite big so baby's mouth doesn't really fit around it and the holes in it are not that the top they're not at the they're mostly surrounded at the top and then at the bottom there's nothing so if baby's biting around the the side of it it's not really the food is not coming out the food is usually at the bottom so i was thinking to myself if i could invent a silicon baby feeder with holes everywhere i would make a lot of money but then i researched on the internet somebody had already done it so Haka is a nice brand and especially if you're trying to be a minimalist and you're thinking of getting your baby a teether as well as a baby feeder. It's so soft, the silicon, it's silicon all over. So it also doubles as a teether. So you can always remove that little thing and then your baby can have it as a teether as well. So that is just I like that one. The only disadvantage with that one is, I guess, the price. The price. The bone is cheaper. Almost three times as cheap. Despite it being cheaper, I'll still go for the Haka because it's easier to opt. It's easier to use all around. The other one is not so easy to open. I was fidgeting with it. It's not so easy to open and close close actually so let me talk to you about the advantages of each the advantages and disadvantages of each of the feeders as a summary with the boon the advantage is that it's cheaper it loads more food 
basically. I think those are the two advantages. And then actually with the bone, some of the disadvantages are that because it's not made of silicone all around, you can't use it as a teether. So it only has a single use only, okay? Another disadvantage is that the way it's shaped, the way the bone is shaped is that it's quite big for the baby's mouth. The, 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 the third disadvantage is the food is not as easy to get out because the, it doesn't have enough holes in it um, to allow that food to come out. So it's difficult. You always have to squeeze out the food. And then um, the hacker advantages. I love the hacker. It's soft. It's beautifully made. It's high quality and it's got more than one use. It can be used as a teether. So if you are a minimalist, girl, you gotta go for the, for the hacker, okay? The hacker is just beautiful. And then um, the where the food comes out from, it's got lots of holes. The food easily comes out and it just fits the baby's mouth so perfectly. It's very, very easy to clean. That's what I like about it compared to the bone actually. So yeah, those are some of the advantages. When I reviewed the two products, I am hacker despite the price. I still like it. Yeah, disadvantage of the hacker, the price of course. That's the only disadvantage if you ask me. Oh, no, no, no. It's not the only disadvantage, actually. Another disadvantage is that it doesn't hold as much food as the boon when you compare it to the boon. <sighs> That's what I have to say. After I've compared these two silicon feeders, my favorite is the Haka, but if I wanted a one that was all round, encompassed everything. I was still going the Tommy TP because it holds a lot of food as well. Uh, washing them is a pain, but they're still good. Yeah, and the prices are good, and yeah, they have the advantages of both of these things combined. So, yeah. Please give my video a thumbs up if you liked it. Mm, please subscribe if you haven't yet already. Thanks. Say yes.